Hello, everyone out there in TV land. It's time to kick off the new super satisfying season of Math Homer Cowpers. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome, everyone, to a new season of Math Homework Helpers. This is a show where we get to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. With us today are two very talented teachers from Lansdowne Middle School. We have the awesome Miss Kara Delenick. Woo! And from Hillcrest Elementary School, we have the outstanding Mr. Patrick Donovan. Very cool. Hey, did you guys have a good summer or what? Well, Mr. Donovan and I were just talking about how relaxing and wonderful our summers were. How was yours, Max? Nice, nice, nice. Our summer was fantastic, too. <laughs> Ali and I were working all summer on our new side project called Finishing... <clears throat> Each other's sentences! Aha! Mm. Uh, well, that, that sounds pretty cool. interesting. How, how does it work exactly? Oh, it's a pretty straightforward concept, Mr. Yep. Donovan. Yep. You see, Max and I... <clears throat> Finish each other's sentences. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that part. But can you demonstrate some of some of the other acts for us? Oh, mm -hmm. well, yeah, sure. I guess sure. We could, mm -hmm. You want to do the whole thing, are we? Yeah, let's run okay, the whole thing from, from, from the top. From the top. Okay. <clears throat> mm. no, 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 no. okay, ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Ali and I finish each other's sentences. Hey! Man, we are good today. Yeah. We got scene. it. Scene. Scene. And scene. That means it's over. Yeah. All mm. right. Is that it? What? Well, yeah, he said scene. Yeah. I mean, we could have done the whole thing over again, but, I, you know, I don't want to be redundant. Mm -hmm. We're going to do an encore, but we'll save it. Yeah. Save it. Save it. Uh, same old Max and Ollie. I mm -hmm. tell you what, let's get the show started. If this is your first time watching, you should know that we have prizes. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you'll have the chance to win one of our very cool prizes from our math homework helpers puck to pick a prize wall. Miss nice. Delanek, can you explain what we have today? Yeah, this week's prizes are a very useful backpack. Cool. This crazy highlighter. Crazy. Oh. Yeah, look at that hair. Nice. A high five pen. <laughs> And some galaxy slime. Oh, wow. oh, I know the teachers love the slime. <laughs> Man, slime is awesome. Hey, so after we help our callers with their math problems, we'll drop the puck on the puck to pick a prize wall. Puck to pick a prize wall. Mm -hmm. And the caller will win whatever prize the puck lands on. Nice. This is awesome. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. So let's get this thing moving and go to the phones. The number to call is 410-494-1459. That number again is 410-494-1459. Max, is. Very good. who is there our is. first caller of the day? Well, let's see. Our first caller of the day is Aaron from Featherbed Lane. Aaron, are you there? Aaron from Featherbed Lane. Aaron, are you there? Hello. Hello. All right, Aaron, listen. I need you to... I need you to turn your TV down. It sounds like the Twilight Zone over here. Turn it down. And just listen to us through the phone. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay. okay, well, wait. While we're waiting, do you guys want to see my uh, my awesome, you know, my dance? I always do it every first show. I want to see. It. Here it is. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man, wow. he's good. Yeah, thank That's you. That's pretty impressive. You got a headache, Max? Huh? Oh, no, I got nothing up there to rattle. No, no. problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. No man's land. Aaron, are you good? Did you Hello? push your TV down? The volume? Yes. Okay. Thank you. What do you have for our question today? Um, 100... 19 times 81. Oh, that's a tough okay. one. Mm -hmm. Starting out strong. Yeah, I like it. 119 Stronger. times 81. 81. 81. Wow, that's a big number. 81. And Aaron, how have you set this up in class? How have you started to install this new feature? 119 times 81. Method that you've been using with or your a, teacher, or a strategy, or anything like that. I've been using the algorithm, or like a model. 
Algorithm. Standard oh. algorithm? Mm hmm Okay, Perfect. so can you see that I'm going to set this up right here? Do you agree with how I'm setting this up? Is that? that? That's how I would that's right. Yeah. That would work. All right, yeah. just check. Yeah. Now, Aaron, do you want to get us started with how to how to start this? Aaron, are you still there? Hello. Hello. Hey, do you want to get us started on this? What should we what? multiply first? Multiply nine one hundred one. Nine times one. Nine, nine times, times one. one. Right, nine. Yeah. Cool. And then what we're be next. Then we're gonna work with the we're gonna keep the one because we're multiplying it in the ones place value. We're gonna do one times nine first, which you did. Then we're gonna go one, one times, times one. Perfect. And how much is that? One times one is one. Perfect. And we have another one in the hundreds place value. What's one times one again? One. Perfect. If we're finished with the one in the ones and we're moving to the eight in the tens place value, what do we need to hold that place of the ones? What did I put down here? A uh, hold a zero. Right, we have to zero. hold we have to annex that zero, right? Now we can do eight times nine. How much is eight times nine? Eight times nine is Seventy-two. Perfect. Good job. That's, nice. a, that's a really tough one. That's, good why, that's why it's important to know your multiplication right. facts. And Aaron was really fast with that. Eight times nine is seventy-two. I regroup the seven and drop the two. And now I have eight times one, or we have eight times one plus seven. How much do we have now? Eight plus seven. Which eight is? Times eight. eight plus seven equals... 15. 15. 15. Great yeah, job. I'll oh, regroup the 1, drop the 5, and now we have 8 times 1 plus 1. You told me 8 times 1 is 8, and what's one more than 8? 9. 9. Great job. Here are, are our two partial products. And I think Ms. Delna can help us add these up. What's All right. So I think I would start with the ones place. Yep. Nine plus zero is nine. Perfect. Nine plus zero is nine. Keep going, Aaron. One plus two is how many, Aaron? Three. Great. And five go. plus one is six. Six in the hundreds and nine with a zero there gives us how many? Nine. Nine. Great job. So what's our answer? Can you see that? 9,639. Great yeah, job. There you go. That's impressive. You know, I like to do, Aaron, just to be safe, I like to estimate to make sure our answer makes sense. And I know 119 is close to 100, and 81 is close to 80. And if I multiply those out, we'll have an answer of about 8,000. So I think that is pretty that close is pretty to close. me. Great job, cool. Aaron. Good job. Aaron, are you ready for a bonus? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. time to drop wow. the pipe. All right. What, what, what would you call the answer in a multiplication problem? Oh, great question. Have you learned that yet in fourth grade? What? Have you, what's the answer called in a multiplication problem? The product. Awesome. No, wow. man. Great job. Aaron, the product. Show the math facts. That was a great first yeah. time. Yeah. Awesome Are job. Are we not done with Aaron yet? No, not finished Please yet. Try, Aaron. I, well, I'm ready. I think the we're going to Here we go, building. Aaron. He's simply stunned. He's so excited. Okay. He's speechless. I'm going to let go. Okay. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Drop yeah. that puck. Oh, oh backpack. backpack. All right. Cool. Perfect. All right, Aaron, thank, thank you so much for calling. For we're going to send Aaron. that backpack out to you. Bye-bye. Call again next week. Bye. Bye. Yeah. All right, Ollie, who we got next? Oh, on the phone now is Isabella from Norwood. She's in third grade. Oh, Hello. Cool. Hello. How are Hi, you doing? Isabella. Good. All right, we're so glad you called. Yeah. Hey, do you have a math problem for us? Yes. Oh, uh, we are ready. Are we ready? We're ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Are we ready? Okay. okay, what you got, Isabella? Can I explain it to you? Yeah, tell us the problem.
problem. Sure, can you read it to us? We'll solve it. So, Karen has 18 cookies for her friends. How many people can she give cookies to if she gives two cookies to each friend? Show your work below with a picture and an equation. Wow. Awesome. Wait, 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 Isabella, are you giving me cookies? I'm so excited. <laughs> well, I think if there's 18 cookies and each of us can have two, we'll each be able to get at least a few cookies. Or you could give me 18. Yep. I'll take that. That's yep. fine. Or well, give me 18. You, know, you could. That's not what the question 18 says. 18 divided gentlemen. by me. Yay. Okay, Isabella. So we need to draw a picture and write an equation, right? Or write a problem? Yeah. Okay, great. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw 18 circles because that's how many cookies we have, right? I'm just going to draw 18 circles right. on our paper. Mm -hmm. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, the blueberry cookies. 13, cookies. 14, blueberry. 14 15, 16, 17, 18. Right, these are they're blueberry. Uh, they're blue, blueberry cookies, which I don't even know if that's a thing. It but they're now. blue. It is now. It is now, Patent right? Pending. Exactly. Okay, He's so Isabella, we have 18 blue circles here to represent our 18 cookies. All right. And you said each person gets how many cookies? Two. Great. So you know what we could do? Is we could just make groups and we could circle two cookies at a time and see how many people we can, ha we can give two cookies to. Those are mine. First two are mine. <laughs> First two. So there's two for Max. There's two for Ollie. Next Here's for two Ollie. for Miss Delanek. Good, I want two. Here's two <laughs> for Isabella, and Mr. Donovan will keep the rest. What? Wait, Here's uh, another. Two more for Ollie. Two more for Max. And then once I group all of them into groups of two, then I can count up how many groups of two I have, or we have, right? Yeah. So have you been doing this on your piece of paper, on your homework as well? Yes. Yeah. Great. Do you know how many groups we have? Two in each. How many groups of two? Right, well, two groups. How many friends? How many mm -hmm. people can eat two cookies, right? One. Not one. Let's count them up. Ready? Count one, up. two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight and nine. nine. So nine friends Ooh. can Ooh. eat two cookies each if we have 18 cookies. Well, Mr. Donovan, I have a question, too. Uh -huh. I wanted to set this up as an equation. Right. Ah. Is there like a key word that would help me figure out what type of equation it would be? Oh, yes, Google. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll help I'm you. I'm pretty sure it works every time. Yep. Well, maybe, Sometimes. maybe Isabel can, can read the question one more time, and we can look for a key word to tell us what's gonna, what operation we're going to use. Isabel, can you read it one more time? All right. Karen makes 18 cookies for her friends. How many people can she give cookies to if she gives two cookies to each friend? Awesome. Okay. So I'm, I don't know. I was kind of thinking that she was like splitting up her cookies. Or, or putting them in groups yeah. of two. Because that's kind of what it sounds like if you're putting it into groups, right? Yeah. So do you, do you have an idea, Isabella? What, what sort of operation were we doing if we took 18 cookies and put them into groups of two? Were we adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing? I think we're adding. Well, we, mm -hmm. we, we're kind of adding. We have nine groups and we're up skip counting to uh, by 18. twos to 18, but we're kind of going the opposite way. We're putting them into groups. So we're starting with 18, All right. and we're putting them into groups of two, and that's going to give us nine friends. So 18 something into groups of two is going to give us nine friends. So it looks like we're getting smaller, so it, it could be a subtraction, but 18 minus two is not subtraction. No. All right. <laughs> So I think we're actually going to use division, because if we're using division, that means we're putting it into, into smaller That's groups. That's it. Or we're splitting up this 18 into groups of two. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Is there any way you think we could check our answer? Not that I remember. Well, I'll, gi I'll give you a secret. Or maybe Ms. Delano well, can tell us. Well, I was thinking, us. do you know what the opposite or the inverse is of dividing, Isabella? Mm. No. Well, the no. opposite of subtraction is addition, so the opposite of division would be, what do you think? Adding. Well, repeated addition, yeah. which is actually multiplication. multiplication. Yeah. There you go. Oh. You just got to repeat. <laughs>
So we'll I go backwards and we'll say nine, nine times two times two equals I think it's eighteen, it right? It is, yeah. Okay, good. That's two, now four, six, right. eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Great job. So Mr. Donovan, now to the important question. Where are the cookies? <laughs> yeah. Um, Max and I are hungry. I yeah, think now I want blueberries. Isabella too. and Karen from the question have the cookies, but uh, maybe they could share some with us next hey, time. Hey Isabella, you know? what That's kind good. of cookies? Are they chocolate chip? Yes. Yes. Right. Right. Woo. Well, I'll put some chips on there. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Isabella, you know what it's time to do? Yeah. It's time to get your prize. Let's do this. All Ooh. right. Let's Drop see. That that Drop that Drop Ready? Puck. Here we go. All right, Mr. Lennox. Oh, oh, my. Don't oh, drop it like that. Yeah, drop, we didn't drop. mean to actually drop it. You actually go down the slots. <laughs> All hey. right. Here it All comes. All right, it's going down, Isabella. Here we go. Oh, crazy, crazy pen. pen. It's a high five pen. We'll get the crazy pen. Awesome. Thanks so much for calling, Isabella. Okay? Thanks, Isabella. Bye. 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 Thanks, Isabella. Oh, man. Two great callers, guys. Yeah, that was awesome. awesome. Are you ready for another one? One of them might bring cookies. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know. That's Max, who's on the phone now? Oh, we got Jacqueline from Featherbed Lane. Jacqueline, are you there? Hello. Hey, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Hi. 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 Hey, Jacqueline, is it hot over there near Featherbed Lane Elementary School? Um, a little bit. A little bit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My fur was starting to melt earlier today. It was so hot over here. I tell you what. <laughs> I was hoping it'd snow, <laughs> but, but it didn't. No. No. Not, no not, not quite yet. Yeah, not a, few, yet. a few weeks for that. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe Jacqueline, tomorrow. how's the school year going? Do you have a good question for us? Um, okay. So, I got mental puzzles. Oh, cool. It says... There's, um, okay, it says to look at each number in the puzzle board. Find two numbers in the box whose sum equals the number, that number. Okay. Use, use each number only once. Do not use paper and pencil or a calculator. Oh. Wow. Wow. Calculator, guys. Put it away. I think she said it, was a, it wasn't in a mental... A mental, okay. uh, or like a mental math. Well, I think for the purpose of the or, show, should yeah. it, should we write down the box just to help okay. everyone else that doesn't have it in front right. of them? I think we need. We yeah. yeah. yeah that's What's idea. the box? How, what? How many box? How many numbers are in it? Okay, the first number in the box is one hundred nineteen. Okay. We saw that. How, how many boxes are in this? Is it a grid? Um. It's just like a big rectangle. Okay, one big rectangle. How and many how, numbers? Right. That's, that's pretty good, Mr. That's Dunham. beautiful. Huh? Jacqueline, how <laughs> many numbers kind of, kind of are square. in that Thanks, rectangle? Guys. 17. 18 counting the 119. 18. 18. Okay. okay. So, yep. Watch how Mr. Okay. Devo Donovan divides this up. Yeah, oh, I'm a little nervous. Pressure's <laughs> on. <laughs> no one's watching. You're all good. One, two, three, four. All right. How many go across for Five. 18? Okay. Two, 225. <laughs> Is that, okay, 225, you're good. Okay, I think I have it. You Just, got it. Yep. Okay, 225. Keep going, Isabel, or yeah, keep going, Jacqueline. <laughs> okay. Um, 111. All right, next row. Okay. 173. Okay. 28. 28, okay, what's next? You can keep going a little quicker. 486. Okay. 4B6. 374 and 375. Is that all of them? No, 227 and 164. <laughs> Okay, keep going. This is the best problem ever. 314 and 389. Oh, I like how you were wow, saying that practically. That's the best one. way to do it. All right. Keep, keep going. going. Six <laughs> more. Um, 72, 241. 241. And 81, 30, 326. 326, 81. You have two more? Yep. Those were the all. What's that? That was all. That was all of them? Okay, uh -oh. so I think we only have 16. 16. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we need to find ones that fit together and we can add them up. 
without writing them down. Interesting. What are we, is there a goal, like a set number that we're trying to find, Jacqueline? Okay, so if there's, okay, so in my paper, in my homework, it says um, there's a little box that says 100. There's a blank space with, with a plus and then another blank space. Okay. So, so we're supposed to add two numbers that equal 100. Oh, okay, okay. cool. Okay, so, oh, so, so blank plus blank equal 100. Good. Oh, okay, yes. perfect. So we need to find two numbers that fit 100. Perfect. Are there numbers that you're thinking, Jacqueline, that we can already probably not use because it's going to not equal 100 if we add? 225. Yeah. yeah. Good. I think... Anything Probably over all the numbers yeah. that are more than what? I could get rid of yep. 111, 119. See you later, numbers. Because yep. they're all what, Jacqueline? They're all over my front. Oh, oh your sum. Sum. Your sum. Remember? Yeah, we had our sum up here. Right, we can get rid of all those really high numbers Bye -bye. because those Look at are... Go. Whoops. Not that one, Mr. Look at all this hard work we... we I can't. Out. Cool. Now we're left with a couple. Oh, we only have a little bit numbers. Right. Now we only have three numbers left. That 28, 81, and 72. So which two do you think will fit together and make 100? Yeah. I'm at least thinking that I could get rid of well, I know it can't be 72 and 81 together. Right. That would never work. Too so much. 28 is definitely going to yes, be one of our for numbers. Sure. So 28, so which one can we add to 28 to get us 100? What do you think, kiddo? 72. 72, yeah. good job. That's what I would say. How did, how did you know that, Jacqueline? What made, you, uh, what made you so sure? Because I know that 8 plus 2 is 10. Uh-huh. Yep. And we already have um, 9, 10. So right. if I add 8 plus 2 together, that will make another 10, which will make 100. Great. Perfect. That was a great explanation, really too. Really great explanation. Yeah. Awesome job, Jacqueline. Yeah. So I Jack like that homework. Jacqueline, do you feel <laughs> good about your answer? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, so are we. Well, you know what we Perfect. feel good about over here? In addition what? to helping out with math, it's our Puck the Picker Prize Wall. <laughs> Puck the Picker Prize Wall. <laughs> All right, All right let's see what you get. All right, are ready to spin? Or, uh... Drop, drop that drop hook. hook. There we go. Here it comes. Oh, it's all over the place. Ooh, oh, the slime. Oh, she got the slime. Awesome. awesome. Great Woo. job. Wow, she's really excited she for that, too. So That's excited. awesome. That is good stuff right there. Yeah. Slime is awesome. Great job. <laughs> Although, i got to be careful. If that stuff gets in my fur. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to wash it's that. Over. It's a mess. <laughs> I come in looking way different. Hey, thanks for calling, though. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Jacqueline. Bye. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Wow, that hey, was great. Right. Yeah. You want to do another color? Oh, yeah, sure. You guys ready? <laughs> I'm ready. We're on a roll. I mean, yeah. look at that. Look at the board. Look how many look numbers. We are pictures. on stuff. All that hard work that I we know, just crossed nice. out. That too. was yeah. fun. I like crossing stuff out. Gone, all gone. Oh, oh. no, it's all oh. gone. OK. Who's Who we got, Ollie? On the phone now, we have Harmony from Norwood. She's nice in third name. grade. Hello, Harmony. Hi, Harmony. That was nice. Thank you. How Hello. are you? We're you, so glad you called. Do you have a math problem for us? Yes. We are ready, kid. All right. What, what is it? Um, they organized his Pokemon cards into the area being right the region for his area to create. Uh, another area with back. Okay. Is this about Pokemon cards? Yes. Oh, ah, cool. Perfect. Okay. So it looked like the array, and if this is really magical. I have your homework in front of me. <gasps> wow. It looks like yeah. the array below has five. We're really art artists oh, today. There's a lot of pictures Wait, today. wait that's more than five. <laughs> Math models. Wait. Wait. Uh-oh. You're getting five. a little sloppy. Concentrate. Is that kind of what it looks like? Five across and three down? Oh, there we go. 
Yes. Okay, good. All right, write an equation for this array and then create another array with the same factors. So for your array, which, what, which, no, which way are you going to go? Which number goes first? Um, five. Okay, so we can five. go across, right? Um, so if we have five, five columns up and down, and how many are in each column? How many rows do we have? How many? Five times three. Perfect. There you five go. times three. Jinx. And those Jinx. are our two factors. Okay, so how else could I create an array using five and three as the factors? Could we like could flip it on the three side? Three times five. Three times five? Right. Yeah, oh, exactly right. There you go. So, so it's just the other doing, way around. Instead of doing five groups of three, we could do three groups of five. I just used circles. It was going to be a lot Perfect. easier. So Much you quicker. see how I did three groups of five? Yes. And, okay. And both of them, how many cards do you have yep. in both arrays? How many cards? What would five times three and three times five equal? Um, 15. Perfect. Great job. 15. You know, awesome I've never job. seen round Pokemon That's, cards. Those are I cool. I think it's just it's so cool that for multiplication, you can flip the order. Right. And the, as the answer is, oh, they're always going to be the same. Right. And wow. When Harmony gets to fifth grade and sixth grade, you can take that information and you can say, well, 15. <laughs> Doesn't work. I just thought it was my, 15. my finger would work. 15 divided by 5 will give us 3, or 15 divided by 3 will give us 5. Awesome. Wow. It's Those all connected. Math is amazing stuff. They're all connected. Like magic. Families, right. Math is awesome. What do you think, awesome. Harmony? Does that make sense to you? Yes. <laughs> if it doesn't, it'll make sense soon. Don't worry. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, Harmony. Thanks, all Harmony. Right. Well, Harmony, we're not done with you yet. Well, it's time to drop the puck. Drop the puck for the prize. Oh. Here we go. Oh, very good. Da -da -da. Technique there. Uh, Whoa, another uh, backpack. Wow. Oh, cool. For all hey, that Harmony. math homework. For all Thank those you Pokemon so much for cards. <laughs> very cool. Thanks, Harmony. See ya. Ooh. All righty, we're going to yeah. keep the ball rolling from Norwood. We keep got another Norwood caller. Going. Amaya, are you there? Yeah. How's Hello. it going? There she is. Do you have Amaya. a math question for us, Amaya? <laughs> yes. Great. What do you have? I have friends draw a picture so below select all the equations that met his drawing. Awesome. So... It's another kind of an, an array problem, right? Yeah. You guys are drawing a lot of pictures over at Norwood, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> this is the array that you have, right? Yes. And then how many choices do you have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of choices. Can we have more than one answer here? I wanna, I, that's, that's what I'm wondering. Can we have more than one circled? Yes. Oh, I love these questions. Select all. So, all right. so Amaya, what do you notice about the array that was in the picture? Um, what do you notice? What do you know so far? Because we just had an array question. And um, I'm just, I oh, noticed that the array has three in each yeah, and no. four in uh, each row. Right. So there are there are three groups, and there are four in each group, right? Yeah. Awesome. So if we're counting these groups, we're gonna, we could skip count by four. So we could say, if we have groups of four, we could do four times how many groups do we have? If we have three. Three, right? So four yeah. times three is going to give us all of uh, the circles that we have in our array. How, what is four times three? Yeah. How much? Four times three. Four times three. How many? Twelve. Twelve. There you go. Good job. Good job. And you know what? Do we have that on our? So we might not sheet? have that exact answer as one of our choices, but we have something that would mean the same thing. Do you know which one? 
It's a one lot that's going very on. Very similar. Tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Just like we said. Yeah. Letter B. It's the same thing, right? Yeah, letter B. Letter cool. B. All right, B definitely oh, works. Max, then we know that, right? I didn't even yeah. see around, man. Oh. It looks Hi. like there are no other multiplication answers. Definitely though. not multiplication. Um, uh, well, I know that multiplication is very similar to addition. So what addition? Yeah, it is. It is, right? What <laughs> totally addition is. problem Absolutely. can we write or can we see in our array of uh, four groups of three? Or I'm sorry, three groups of four. Yeah. There's a couple there. How about four? Here's four, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check that one. Plus another four. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus another four. Wait a minute. Is that still representing the same array? Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. And it still it's has the same. 12, too, right. as the sum there. So that's true. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I, it looks like C, C can't be our answer because no. the answer to C is how many? Four plus four plus four plus four. That's four groups of four. That's yeah, 16. Yeah, they had one extra group of four. That won't work. Cross it out. Yeah. And letter D is... Three plus three plus three plus three. Wait right. a minute. But you know what? Your array doesn't look like that, though, Mr. Donovan. Right. It doesn't look like that. It would have to be the other way. Three. Three. three oh, I see three, now. Three. So it can't be okay. that one. It can be, right? Three plus three. Looks the same. Plus three. Well, I guess plus it could three. be. Means the same. But Four threes, three fours, whatever. Since they have it circled, it probably could okay. be either way. That might be something that you want to ask your right. teacher. If you switch the circles, it could be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. And that would also <laughs> tell your teacher that you are paying close attention. I right. know. Yeah. Um, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. That could work too, right? Because you start with 12 and put it into three groups, and there are four in each, each group. group. That works. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. But this one's a little tricky. Four divided so if by you three. have four, one, two, three, four, and you divide it by three, mm. so I don't know. That's not going to equal. Not feeling that one. Three, that won't work at all. Not nope, feeling it. That's kind of weird. Not feeling it. Okay, so it looks weird like, for me, man. Like the color choice, though. Wow, Purple yeah. looks good on me. Yeah. Raven. Three possibly yes. four answers. We'll put a star next to letter D, mm -hmm. just so you can ask your teacher tomorrow. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's a lot on that board. I yeah. love that you understand that. That's pretty awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely three. I love those types of questions when there's more than one answer. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what else is awesome? What? The prize, the pick a prize wall. The, <laughs> the, the prize wall. Amaya, you ready to see what your prize is? Something so adorable. What do you want to win? Do you know the puppet is so adorable? The puppets Aww. are adorable. Aww. 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 We think you're Aww. adorable Aww. too. Oh, that's so cute. What about Thank the host, you. Amaya? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ish. Okay, wow. Amaya, can you say, drop that puck? Let's all say it. Let's all say it. One, two, three. Drop, drop that puck. puck. Here we go. Yeah. yeah crazy. Oh, a crazy yeah. pen. She's crazy. Crazy. It's a pen. It's crazy. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Thanks for calling, Amaya. Amaya, call back, okay? Yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah, bye-bye. And we will send that right out to you in your school. <laughs> That's right, in the mail, in the snail mail. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. You know, we use math so many ways in life, not just in math, math class. Let's head out to the streets of Baltimore County Public Schools to see who Maria is talking to now. Yeah. 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 On the street. Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Today, I'm here with Kimberly Panchagar, an art teacher at Stemmers Run Middle School. Miss Panchagar, is math really a part of art? Hello, Maria. Thanks for coming to Summer's Run. And it sure is. I'm going to show you an example. <gasps> Great, let's hear it. Maria, do you know what primary colors are? Mm, not really. Primary colors are the three main colors on the color wheel, red, blue, and yellow, that all of the other colors come from. By mixing primary colors together, we get brand new colors, like purple, green, and orange. 
In fact, artist Pablo Picasso had three different recipes for mixing colors. Let's look at how he would make the color green. Okay. Here's where the math comes in. So recipe one says that one part of blue with three parts of yellow, or in other words, one to three. Recipe two says four parts of blue with eight parts of yellow, or four to eight. This is also one half. And recipe three is three parts of blue with five parts of yellow, three to five. The more blue paint we have in our ratio determines how dark the green paint is. And this works for all colors. Oh, wow, I see. So that's just one example of how math and art work together. Ratios, colors, wow, I've learned so much. I love art. Thanks for stopping by, Maria, and please come back again. Okay, adios. Man, that was cool. That was awesome. Uh, let's Ooh. see what's going down yeah. on the streets. On the streets. <laughs> math, math is everywhere. It is. You know? It's even with our next caller. Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs of all ages, give it up for oh. Haiti. Hi, Hi, Haiti. <laughs> wow, bless you. Uh, how you doing, Haiti? Hi. Hello. So, how Haiti, are you? are you calling from Featherbed Lane Elementary? Mm -hmm. Are you from Featherbed <laughs> Lane? Yeah, I'll take yeah. that as a yes. Yeah, All right. I think that school must be very light. I hope light. Haiti's not there still because <laughs> oh. no. school ended a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it might be a little bit too late. Well, some people have extreme work ethic. That is true. Mm -hmm. I am not. What kind of question do you have now, Haiti? Um, I have a mental puzzle. A mental oh, puzzle. Oh. That one Let me get my mental ready. Does it? What are you trying to equal with your sum? A hundred. Katie, what was the sum? 200. Oh, 200. Ah, 200. shoot. Was it the same <laughs> puzzle? Oh. Is I it from it. the same mental um, math puzzle? Almost. Almost? almost. What's close. different? Well, that's OK. We can knock this one out really quickly. We're ready. Because I can see ones that make 200 on here. Right. Are your numbers different than the one we have up, Haiti? It's hard to see. Um, no. The same numbers. How, how many mental math yeah. puzzles do oh, you have the on same your numbers. homework same sheet? Numbers. Yeah. All right, same it's numbers. Just one puzzle, right? I wonder if we, yeah, if we go um, back. Uh-oh. Gonna go back to that one. Hmm. Hmm. Technology. Well, let's just look at here. I bet we can look, because you know well, what? You well, can zoom in. We could use the same strategy that we used before, right? If we're trying to find 280. We can get rid of all the numbers that are more than what? And maybe we can make a list on the side, even though yeah. we're not supposed to write them down. What, what, which numbers can we get rid of, Haiti? Over the sum. Right, over, over the, the sum. sum, right? There you so go. we're trying to find 200, right? Yep. So we can get rid of everything that's over 200. We're going to keep 119. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep 111. 173. 173. Keep it. 28. 28. Keep it. Um, we can get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one. Get rid of them. 64. Get rid of them. 72 and 81. Um, there you go. So this is what would be left if we went through and crossed out at, whoop, everything above 200. We're only left with Kay. six, seven numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now I'm going to try to, well, I don't know. What is your strategy? I don't want to tell you. Mine. Do you have a strategy on how to figure out what could combined together to make 200? Um. Hmm. Why don't we pick one? Let's pick one. 111. 111, uh, we would need, that's about 110, so we, we would need about 90. Oh, I like how you're saying about. That means you're either from Canada or you are <laughs> estimating. Estimating, it. right? Yeah. That would be, that would be a boot. Oh, that's right. And we'd be from Canada, we say a boot. So <laughs> if that's about 110, I don't see any that are Do close to 90? 90, except for 81, and that's a little too far off. So I think so we could. So no 111, yeah, right? Cross that one off. Um, we could look at the next one. What's the next one we could look at, Ms. Delenek? Let's look at 80. 80, cool. that's pretty close. That's pretty, pretty close to 80, awesome. 81 and 80, so what's missing if I had to get the other add end? I have 80, um, what's missing to get to 200? How many more would we need? Two. 
That is really well, how, mm, um, how many more would we need hmm. to get to 100? 20. 20. Good. Right? There you go. And then, a, to and then what, 100 more for yeah. 200? So I'm looking for something that's about... 120. About? 120. Cool. Do you see anything close to there that could be close to 120? I see some that aren't close. Yeah, 164 is not close. Okay, not close. close. Gone. Gone. Cross see that one out 72 there, is not okay. close. Yep. No. Nope. 28 is not close. No. Yeah. One se oh. Wait, what? She said it, 119. 119. So nicely done. 119 is close to 120. How do you, would you how would you know for sure that they equal 200 together? Oh, I guess you have to do it mentally, right? Um, mental, it's called mental math. I think so. Well, I think part of it is by estimating what we've done. Yeah. Yeah, we did estimate, which is so helpful, mental math. Yes. And by the way, is that what those wavy lines were for? I was, I was gonna talk about that right oh. afterwards because I didn't know in elementary school I don't think they do this little symbol. Do you? We do. I do. We do it in fifth grade, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it means it means about. I yeah. thought it meant ocean. <laughs> now? Yeah, a couple wavy lines. Yeah. yeah. Ocean. Well, if if yeah. I take both of my numbers now to add them up, I'm thinking even I could do this mentally, and I bet you yeah. could too, Haiti. Nine plus one, you know, is what? What would nine plus one be? Um, 10? Yeah, 9 and 1 more, that's yep. 9, 10. And then we have 8 and 2 more, which is another 10. So, so far it's looking good. It's looking real good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so then I would end up with 200. So it looks like 119 and 81 is your best match. It is the match, because that equals exactly 200. That looks yeah. right. <laughs> nice. But I really like how you used estimation to get you close right and with mental math i think that's a big help yeah for sure especially when we found those numbers that we didn't need uh it really eliminated a lot of our a lot yeah. of our yeah. possibilities again it's always fun being able to cross out some numbers <laughs> that feels right. good yeah and now yeah. we have this crazy mental math chart. <coughs> and i yeah. really love writing this symbol so if you're estimating i think this is just really fun to write right. you know <laughs> yeah it is it kind of makes sense because it's kind of equal yep. but not really kind of yeah. wavy not really about it, it. Mm -hmm. cool all Great right job haiti so haiti you feel good about that now She's yes yes <laughs> all right well we are not done with yet mr donovan it's time to pick up that puck drop and make things happen okay. thank you where's the little um Slime. Slime. Slime, Slime again. Awesome. awesome. Man, the teachers at all these Yay. schools are <laughs> Slime. Slime. Good job. Uh oh, Mr. Donovan. Yeah. Guess who our Thank next you caller for is? Me today. Great. Oh, Thanks God. for calling. Thanks oh, sorry. for calling. I'm jumping ahead. No, we're not ready. I'm so excited because there's so many callers. I know. Ah. Are we ready now? Bye -bye. We're ready now, Mr. Donovan. Guess what? What's that? Our next caller is from Hillcrest Elementary School. Oh, awesome. That's where I just came from. Wow. What, what's their name? Their name is? Ollie, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Say, oh, say. I'll finish your sentence. Ready? Yes. Start the, the, off. Okay, here, <coughs> the student mm. calling from Hillcrest is Alana. Oh, hey, awesome. Alana. Hey, Alana. What grade? So, mm. Alana, does Mr. Wait, you know I, what have grade? A, I have an Alana in my class. Is this Alana from my class? Yes. Oh, uh, Alana. you know oh, her. Man. You're famous, Mr. Donovan. I, I there you guess go. So. Cool. Or maybe Alana's the one that's famous. No. Yeah. Because you knew who she was. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Huh? That's true. Yeah. Sorry. Call her. Okay, Alana. Uh, what's your question that you have for us? Um, it's ten point twenty-five divided by four point one. Awesome. Come ten on, and yes. and we don't say ten point twenty-five. Uh -huh. We say ten and what? 2,500. Right. There it is. And we'll divide that by how much? Um, four and one tenth. Awesome. Okay, Alana. I know we didn't we didn't really talk about this for too too much today because we are running seriously out of time. <laughs> but is what? that an excuse, Mr. Donovan? No, not an excuse. But we're <laughs> no gonna we're gonna here. spend no a excuses. lot of time on it tomorrow, Alana. <laughs> but we did talk about um, divisors and dividends and quotients. So, Alana, which ones are dividend that should go inside our division house? Um, it's 10 and 2,500. Great job. Nice. I'm going to put that inside of our division house here. 
Ten and twenty five hundred. Is it renting or does it own? Um, it's rent to buy. Oh, you know? okay. <laughs> no, that's not bad. That's and not then bad. Alana, I mean, uh, our divisor is four and one tenths, right? Yeah. Okay. We know how to divide decimals by whole numbers. So how can we turn this four and one tenths into a whole number? Um, you move the decimal point over one space. Right. We're going right. to multiply it by 10, and we're going to uh, turn that 4 and 1 tenth into 41. Great job. Perfect. Now, if we do that to our <laughs> divisor, what do we have to do to our dividend? Can we leave it the same? Um, yeah, but you can also move it over one place. Right. We, we have to move it over, right? Because yeah. whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So what does our dividend become now? Um, 102 and 5 tenths. Great Oh, job. she said it right. Good job. Yeah, good. So She's got a good teacher. Even though these <laughs> questions look differently, right, they're still the same. Because all we did is we just multiplied them both by 10, and our answer is still going to remain the same for both questions. Perfect. Alana, now can you help me divide? Does 41 go into 1? No. Cool. Does it go into 10? No. Does it go into 102? Yes. How many times? Twice. Twice. And 2 times 41 is how much? Um, 82. Great job. Wow. That's some great mental She's math fast. skills. That's awesome. Now, 102 <laughs> minus 82, we're left with how many? Um, 10 minus 8. Uh, 20. 20, great good job. job. Very good. Good job. Left with 20. I can't fit another 41 in there, so I'm going to bring down the next digit. Now we have 205. About how many 41s do you think will fit into 205? Well, if two I, went um, into 102. 200, no, uh, 180. Well, I would be using estimation. Yeah, I think, we should again. use estimation, right? right? Estimate. So if we have 205, that's about 200, mm -hmm. and 41 is about 40, and we know how to do this, right? So our basic fact, if we have 200 divided by 40, what's our basic fact that you can find in here, Alana? Um, 20 divided by 4. Perfect, and that's how many? Mm -hmm. Um, 5. Right, Good. about 5, right? And... If I have one zero here in 200 and one zero in 40, do I have to annex any zeros into our um, quotient here? No. No, so it's just going to be five. So it should be about five. So maybe we should start there, right? Yeah. OK, yeah. cool. So let's, uh, I'm going to maybe do my multiplication over here just so we have some extra space. And you can help me multiply 41 times five. What's five times one? Five. And four. 5 times 4 in the tens is? Uh, 5 times 20. 4? Say it again. 20. 20. Great job. So there it is, 205. Perfect. Oh, you got it. So it was 5. Great job using your estimation skills. So the answer looks to be 25. 25, right, Alana? Yeah. Cool. Oh, right. Are you Good sure? Um, I think we have to move the decimal place up. I think you're right. Awesome. Ms. Delenek was trying to trick you. I was you. trying. She's a middle school teacher. She's trying to prepare <laughs> you. Right. So our answer isn't 25. It's how much, Alana? Two and fifth, well, five tenths. Right. Good. Two and nice. five tenths. And that's the answer to both questions. Two and five tenths. Great job, Alana. Wow, that was impressive. That was that awesome. Was. It's a lot of very You will be doing that in middle too. school, too. So awesome. will be doing it tomorrow, too. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Alana. Thanks. And guess what it's time for, Alana? Um, time to see what your prize is. That's doing it. Ready? Drop that pump. Oh, my, oh, I no. should be fired. Miss Delenic, would you calm down? Here we go. There it is. <laughs> Another one. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for calling, Alana. <laughs> Thank Hello. you. See you Call tomorrow, back later. Bye. Very cool. She sounds like a wonderful student, Mr. She's Donovan. A, she's a great student. <laughs> All right, well, before we take our next caller, we're going to head out to one of our very own Baltimore County Public Schools and check in for Mighty Math Minute. Oh, I love Mighty you Math too. Minute! My name is Ty J, and this is your Mighty Math Minute. Mighty 
Marco wants to buy a book of magic that costs $17.50. He gives the salesperson a $20 bill. How much change would Marco get back? This is what we know. The book cost $17.50 and he gave the salesperson a $20 bill. So what we have to do to get the answer is do $20 minus $17.50. So first we will do zero minus zero, which is zero. Zero minus five, which we can't take zero from five. So what we have to do is have to regroup from the two, make it a one, and then make the 10 and make it to a nine, and then make this to a 10, this will be a five. And then we will put the decimal point here. Then we would do nine, nine minus seven, which is two, and then one minus one is zero. So Marco will get $2.50 back. That was oh, awesome. Welcome. Yeah, that I, was I, I actually like the, the, the moment pause before mm -hmm. we start talking. Yeah. yeah. It, it was for just like, I never know. It was, yeah, it was in the script that way. Yeah. Of course it was. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It was for That's dramatic. That's why we rehearse. <laughs> Effect. Every day. Yep. All righty, so who's our next caller? Oh, well, now on the phone, we have Amber from Norwood. Oh, She's wow. in third grade. Hello, Amber. Hello. Hi, Hi how are Amber. you? How Hi. are you doing? So, Amber, do you have a spelling question for us, a social studies question, or a math question? Or history. Is the math a math question. Oh, thank goodness, because you came to the right place. You Woo. made, you made the, you called the right number. Great job. That's right. Show. So what is your question for us then, kiddo? James organized his Pokemon cards into the array below. Sounds right. Question for his array and create another array that the same. Boom. 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 There it is. Awesome. Boom. So Amber, we actually had one of your classmates call earlier. Yeah, man. And Miss Delanick, she drew this great array of Pokemon cards. It was um, awesome. Here's your array. <laughs> and how many, how many cards do we have um, columns of? We have Pokemon cards, three Co columns. Three columns. Right, we had groups. We had five at the top, and we had one, two, three rows. So we're going to do five times three. And, and that gives us how many? Five times three. 15. Perfect. Yep. Very good. And then we flipped, basically flipped our array on the side. So instead of having three groups of five, we had five groups of three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. So we wrote three times five, which gives us also 15. Mm -hmm. It's like deja vu. Yeah, it's very <laughs> similar. Great but all over again. That's right. Okay. Sound good, Amber? So we have five times three and three times five as our two arrays of Pokemon cards. Does that help you out, kiddo? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Well, let's help you out some more. Oh, All right, I'm let's ready. do some more helping. Time for prizes. We got this puck over here. That's ready, Amber? Head into a wall. Are you ready? <laughs> here we go. All right. Drop that I'm puck. Dropping. Drop that puck. Drop it. Where's the puck? Where's Drop. <laughs> Drop. Drop. That. That. Boy, the suspense is building. Come on. There we go. go. Woo! Right. Da, 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 da. Yes. Wow. Oh, we are smiling on the Baltimore County Public Schools oh, today. That's right. Awesome. That is awesome. Great job, Amber. I wonder job, if the school could be closed for slime. Right. Yeah, Too much slime. Play with uh, Pokemon cards. Do you have any? Who, me? I've made a lot of them. Oh, you do? Awesome. Oh, you do? I've never played before. I'm not sure. I, I'm not one for poking things. How, how no. About how many Pokemon cards would you say you have? Um, I have zero. You have, oh, zero. okay. Well, uh, what's your favorite number? Um, Let's see if we can make an array out of, um, for Pokemon cards of a, of a made up number. See if we can come up with two different arrays. Just like you did, and give you a little bonus. Question. Don't forget oh, Charizard. Cool. Put Charizard on there. What? Charizard. I, my lucky number is actually eleven. 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 Oh, oh, cool. That's a good one. Well, let's take eleven, and we'll we'll do um. 
11 Charizard. We'll do 11. Oh, these are really big cards. Yikes. They're are there like any the cards with Max or Ollie on them? I'm One, curious. Two, three, four, huh? Five, six, seven. Those any the cards that have Max or Ollie? Oh, yeah. My card's a Mega GX. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. That was beautiful. So we have eleven, uh, eleven Pokemon cards here, and if we have two rows of eleven, I'm just gonna do circles now. Ah. Uh, Got just uh, too much wait time. Wait a minute. It's a nice variety. <laughs> wait a minute. It's like Pogs. Whoa. Wow. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Max. So you okay can, down can there? you can you see our array on the on the uh, on the screen? Um. There is 22. There oh, are whoa. 22. She already beat you she to it. She got me. But <laughs> what, so what equations can mm -hmm. we write here if we have? Um, 22. Right, what, yep. 22. Exactly. The equation would be 11 plus 11. Ooh, 11 times 11 would actually give us no, I think 121. She said plus. Wait, she said plus? So it's not 11 times 11, because we don't have 11 rows all the way going down, right? How many rows are there? Eleven, not that. How, How many? many rows? I said um, eleven plus eleven, not times. Yeah, I think oh, she said plus. Oh, oh sorry. I eleven heard plus it. eleven. I cool. heard it. We could do eleven plus eleven, but I'm with you. What we about want to rewrite yeah. this as a multiplication, multiplication. problem? Yeah. So eleven plus eleven do is the same as. Do we have times for that? Eleven. Uh, How many? That was times? going out. You like that? Did you eleven get it times. With a watch? Oh yeah. 11 times 2. 11 Good. times 2, <laughs> right? Good. And if we could imagine, we take this whole thing and flip it on the side, we could write the same thing as 2 times 11, and nice. that'll give us 22 as well. Very cool. Awesome. Well, you bonus know what? question. We get to do it. Yeah, that was a bonus question. That's one more puck dropping. Let's do it. That's right. All bonus right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, two prizes. Here we go. And. She's going to get double slimed. Oh, uh -oh. and oh, crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite. That Very is pretty cool. cool. Boy, that poor highlighter guy sure is happy, yeah. even though no one chose it. Yeah. <laughs> What's that happy is? I reckon his hair is in the wind. Guys, wait, I have some really sad news, though. What? What? That's all the time that we have. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. I know. So quick. Oh, but you know what the good news is? What? It's only the first episode of the season. We got it right. all year. Woo we'll be back. We'll be back. We started off on the right foot, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. Remember, we do re air each episode, and be sure to watch. We look forward to seeing everybody once again next time. Only, Only here on TV. 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 Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. I'm watching that 6:30 a.m. show. <laughs> Saturday morning.